I don't actually go to church. I work at a church. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, I'm in children's ministry. Been there forever. Um, and so I, uh, I, what I love teaching kids about Jesus is, you know, some amazing things about God, right? But I have learned that they're not the only ones that need Jesus. You know who else needs Jesus? Autocorrect. <laughs> I was texting my pastor and his wife who just had a baby and I said, I'm going to bring over a crock pot of chicken. <laughs> it auto corrected to crack pipe of crystal. <laughs> I was horrified y'all. I was trying to edit, edit, edit. And he said, that's okay. The youth pastor already brought plenty. <laughs> I love teaching kids about God but because they also have some great observations. Like I got this one time. Hey, Miss Chrissy, if David had seen Bathsheba in the shower, would she have been shower Sheba? <laughs> Never thought of it that thing. Good, good observation. And then I had two little girls come up to me one time and go, Miss Chrissy. You remember when Moses crossed over the Red Sea? Yes. Do you remember when Pharaoh came in after them? Yeah. And you remember the water all came down on Pharaoh and they all died? Yeah. Does that mean the horses died too? <laughs> Were they evil horses? Why did the horses have to die? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think they became unicorns or something. <laughs> oh my gosh. But I love that you have to take secular games and turn them into church games, right? Like we don't play duck, duck, goose. We play disciple, disciple, Judas. <laughs> We don't play pin the tail on the donkey. We play pin the nose on the leper. <laughs> it's kind of gross, but the kids love it. And then we don't play dodgeball. We play stone the sinner. <laughs> Y'all choosing a VBS? Anybody go to vacation Bible school? Y'all do that here? Yeah? I once saw a VBS y'all that had Jesus dressed as a fireman. Yeah. And the theme was save them from the flames. That's a little intense, isn't it? What's the stack on that? Flaming hot Cheetos and Tabasco sauce? I mean, you feel the burn. You feel the burn. That's, that's what's going to happen if you don't get your right life with Jesus. You're going to burn. That's Satan. Oh my gosh. But that's not the worst. I mean, you could have on Abraham's altar, the escape game. <laughs> Daniel in the lion's den, keeping your mouth shut for Jesus. <laughs> or a more urban one, you know, that's, that's on God's provision, Mo Manna. <laughs> But I, you know it's going to be a long Sunday morning, especially in children's ministry when you get this. Hey, Miss Christy, could I talk to you for just a second? Oh, no. <laughs> My wife's out of town. So I kept the kids up a little bit late last night. And then this morning for breakfast, I gave them donuts and Yoo-Hoo. <laughs> and I forgot to give the little one his medicine, so he might be a little more active, if you know what I mean. <laughs> And then we're going to stay for all three services. And then they're excited about a birthday party. We're going to go at Chuck E. Cheese afterward. But you have a blessed morning. <laughs> Pastor's kids. Oh. <laughs> but I love giving children a chance to pray in front of our congregation. Sometimes. <laughs> Like I had a little girl come up and said she wanted to pray, so I gave her the microphone and she went, bow your heads. <laughs> bow your heads. So we all bowed our heads. This is what, exactly what she said. Dear Jesus, 
put a baby in mommy's tummy. <laughs> so I'm instantly thinking, well, maybe we have an infertility issue or something like that that's going on in the family. And I look up and there's mom on the front row going, <laughs> how do you walk back the prayer of a child? No one say amen. No one. <laughs> hey, Holy Spirit, if you could autocorrect that to anything else on the way up, that would be great. <laughs> but the biggest thing I've learned is that you have to proofread everything you give to a child to read, even if it's from the Bible. Otherwise, you're going to have questions you were not prepared to answer on a Sunday morning. I had this. Now, boys and girls, we are talking about David and Goliath. And Goliath has just challenged the Israelites to a fight. And David's going to talk to his men, okay? Rachel's going to read for us from the Bible, okay? Rachel, you go ahead and read. Oh, yeah, thank you, Miss Chrissy. <sighs> <sighs> And David said to the men, Who is this man, this one who mocks God, this uncircumcised, uncircumcised, uncircumcised? Miss Chrissy, what is that word? That is uncircumstantial. That's what that word is. That is. And then you got some homeschooler in the back that goes, that's not what it says. That's not what it says. We did an art project on that last week, and that's not what it says. I know. So then you think, okay, I will read it. I can edit as I go, right? I can edit, and it, it will go much smoother. Now, boys and girls. We are talking about Joshua, and, and he's going to send some, some people into the promised land to spy, okay? So we're going to read. You read along in your Bibles, and I will read aloud, okay? If you have any questions, just raise your hand. Raise your hand. We're reading. We're good readers. Okay, here we go. And Joshua sent two spies from the land of Shittim into... <laughs> I'm sorry, Miss Christy misread that. That's pronounced Shittim. That's pronounced it. That's my, my bad. Okay. Said so two spies from the land of... Oh, Caleb has a question. Yeah, Caleb, what's your question? You're right. There is an H in that word. You're right. But, you know, it's a silent H. <laughs> kind of like Sarah. <laughs> so Miss Chrissy's going to read it just like that. From the land of Siddam. <laughs> okay. And they went to ho the home of Rahab the prostitute. <laughs> please nobody raise your hand please nobody raise your hand yeah they went and they hid there Caleb has another question yeah Caleb you know what we're going to keep reading I'm going to ask you to ask your teacher Mr. Gary whatever your question is right then okay that's okay oh Gary's turning red like a rhubarb okay <laughs> And so they went to the promised land. Gary, yes, Mr. Gary, you have a question? Yeah, Caleb wants to know what Rahab's job was. Yeah, I figured, Gary, you, Gary, you coward. Okay. She was in sales. And then you do what every good children's pastor does. You says, who wants candy? <laughs> but I'll leave you with this, Utah. Make sure you even check your references to any verse that you send to children. <laughs> I was writing notes and saying, I believe in you. God loves you. Love Miss Christie. Micah 1.8. And I had a colleague say, what is Micah 1.8? I said, it's a beautiful verse. It says, he has shown you, O man, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you but to do justly and to love mercy and to walk humbly with your God? Beautiful verse. That's Micah 6.8. <laughs> Y'all want to know what Micah 1.8 is? <laughs> For this reason, I will weep and wail. <laughs> I 
will go barefoot and naked. I will howl like a jackal and moan like an owl. I sent this to children for two years. But the joke's on them because that's now my life verse since the pandemic. 